ensuing commemorations as we reflect we reflect on all that D-Day meant and continues to mean for us as a nation. We pray for more D-Day in the conflict in Ukraine and in Gaza and in all parts of our world that presently rages at war. So we have a short time of prayer. Lord God, we pray for peace in our day. As you bound the forces of oppression and evil which threatened us in the Second World War, so we pray for your spirit to bring love instead of hatred and heart instead of hatred. We thank you for the freedoms we enjoy as a result of D-Day and pray for the countries of Europe and for our own nation. Help us to do our part to ensure the flourishing of mutual respect and understanding 
and to bring people closer in community and in companionship. Hi guys. Oh Lord and Master, we ask you to comfort and heal all who bear the scars of war. We pray for those in darkness that you will bring light. For those who despair, that they might know the transformation of their hopes and future. Help us to be faithful in prayer and action, in service and selflessness, that we may console others and ourselves know the consolation of your love. Master, we ask your pardon for all that we have done to contribute to conflict or misunderstanding through our words or our actions. The ways we have not gone to the defense of others. The ways we have not stood up against evil. Help us to give of ourselves in the cause of peace. And by your resurrection power, we will bring new life and form to all people. All the workers, all those whose lives are bound to us. Looking forward to the day you will bring us together in your perfect peace and in the fullness of eternal life. We ask this for your kingdom and your glory's sake. Amen. Amen. Special prayer for this 80th anniversary of Jesus. Thank you, God, our refuge and our strength, as we remember those who faced danger and death in Normandy 80 years ago, we honour the bravery and sacrifice of those who served. <coughs> Grant us similar courage to recognize and restrain evil in our own day. And may those who lead the nations of the world work together to defend human liberty, that we may live peaceably, one with another. This we ask in the name of the Prince of Peace, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever.
Remember the families that lost husbands, wives, sons, daughters, and sweethearts. Eisenhower uh, give a speech to the Allied Serb soldiers before they left. And when they left, that might have been the only speech some of them had heard because they didn't come back and they come back a different person. This is the speech. Supreme Headquarters, Allied Expeditionary Force, soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. <clears throat> you are about to embark upon a great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hope and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and secure ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be, your task will not be an easy one. Your en enemy is well trained, well equipped, battle hardened, and will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940 and 41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats. In open battle, man to man, our air offensive has seriously redu reduced their strength in the air and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home fronts have given us overwhelming support in weapons and munitions of war and place at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together into victory. I have full confidence in the courage, devotion to duty and skills in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck.
let us beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. General, General Dwight D. Eisenhower. Remember them. 